Hey guys, Derek again. Uh, we're just waiting for the Square Enix presentation to start. Should be soon enough. <laughs> According to YouTube, Premiere will begin shortly. I mean, these aren't actually live events, you know, they're pre recorded stuff, so there shouldn't be a delay or anything like that. <clears throat> Jeff Keighley's Summer Game Fest or whatever, that was. Uh, That was live. That was a live event, I think. <laughs> but um, this is pre recorded, so this shouldn't be taking so long to start. Oh, yeah, it hasn't started yet. There it is. Okay. Waiting for the, the YouTube countdown here. So, what, what are we looking to see here? I'm kind of hoping it'll be mostly Japan centric games. Square Enix Western offerings haven't been great recently, like the Marvel, like the Avengers game, Just Cause, what was the last thing Eidos Montreal did, I don't know, they kind of abandoned Deus Ex, because it didn't do that great. The thing is, Square Enix doesn't really, doesn't really help its, its Western companies. You know, it doesn't do, like, management, doesn't give them a lot of money. Like, most of the money obviously goes to their first party stuff, so... Don't know, don't know what we'll see from their western side of things. I'm sure we'll see something from, um... Probably see something from Avengers. It's a thing that was up on the screen there to say that EDOS Montreal, we'll see some stuff from them. So, one, I'm curious what they're working on. Um... And then the like the in-house stuff, Final Fantasy 16, we might see some more about that. Might see some more stuff from Final Fantasy 14 that I've only just recently gotten into. I may have made it I may have made a big mistake on that. Uh, then probably some Neo The World Ends With You stuff. Maybe some stuff on Project Triangle. Um, maybe some Kingdom Hearts. I doubt it. I'll probably give it a break for a while anyway, but I guess we'll find out. Here comes two. Do I have to immediately mute? <laughs> we'll, give them a, we'll give them a chance. Various stages of development. Good afternoon, everyone. It's oh, Matt no. Mercer here, and I'm back as your host of Square Enix Presents. Hey, Matt. Today, we have a special E3 edition of the show for you, with new game announcements, updates, and exciting news from our studios across the globe. So let's kick exciting. off the world premiere exciting of a news. brand new game from Eidos Montreal. All right, straight away. We so. hope you enjoy the show. What are they working on? Come on, Deus Ex 3. It's not this. I'm so proud of you. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? Is it something like a birthday? Guardians of the Galaxy. I did know this. I had heard some stuff something about that's it. That's a part of you. Like your name. Gardeners of the Galaxy? What? No, Rocket. So I let Groot fill out the paperwork. Sorry, that's licensed music coming through. Wait, EDOS are working on Avengers, aren't they? So I guess it makes sense that they're still working on Marvel stuff. So more of more of this, I guess. It's more um MCU lookalikes that people don't take seriously. So they're playing um, I Need a Hero music. So is this uh, just a regular single player game, like what Avengers should have been? Or are they gonna pull it into the um, the Avengers live service? Hmm. 
It certainly like looks and sounds like it'll be a fun thing. It's just a question of whether it's um, you know whether it's gonna whether they're gonna add it to Avengers or if it'll be its own thing. And if it's own thing, will it be not saddled with all the live service shit? Or will it get to be its own thing? Well, it does look like it's part of Avengers. Is that this year too? I lost Montreal. For the past few years, we've had the privilege to work on our version of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy and reimagine it into a single-player, story-driven, third-person action-adventure game. Yes, like it's Avengers should have been, on the and what Avengers was going to be really until uh, they got into it. Get to be Peter Quill. As Star-Lord, you're constantly in the middle of the action as you try to lead this band of misfits. So you're only but playing today, as I'm really, really Peter excited Quill. to have all of you join us on this journey, and you'll hear more about the game from our team behind this project. Right, let's do this. I've always loved Marvel's cosmic characters. Uh, growing up as a kid, I read them, enjoyed them, loved them. I uh, had the opportunity to write for Marvel on some of their cosmic titles. Sorry, I, went <laughs> Sorry. Back. I think that's probably licensed music. So they're just talking about um, the story they're going to work on um, and how to build it out for the different comics and stuff. Um, so they're they're talking about the comic itself. I can't tell if this is licensed music, honestly. It might just be sound-alike stuff. Um, but yeah, they're doing like a, a deep dive for this kind of stuff. Oops, sorry. Um, this is Marvel talking to EDOS Montreal and saying, yeah, the stuff looks really good, but obviously this is PR shit. I'm sure it went through a great number of iterations before they got to it. Um, like, yeah, I'd be interested to play this. It Obviously, it depends on what kind of game it turns out to be. Um, we need to see, we need to see actual gameplay, like a deep dive on it. <laughs> Sorry, that looked a bit Mass Effect-y there for a second. So... So there's probably a, what was I going to say? It's meant to be a kind of adaptive narrative, like you can make different choices and um, like, I don't know if this is licensed music because I could just turn on the interview. Is there no captions for this? Sorry. German? I don't want German. Okay. Uh, oh God, hang on, it's still in German. All right, I gotta turn that off. Just turn it off. Uh, no, why is it in German anyway? Uh, you know what? This is probably just sound alikes, so we'll just leave it on. In the Marvel franchise, and when you're starting to work on a story like this, you get to get your pick of which ones will make the best for this story. That gives us the opportunity to bring in some that are well-known, but some that are also not all that well-known. What Otto is getting so right about them. It's like the issue is they're always going to have with these kind of games is that it's, it's too close to the to the films and characters that are going to um, blow your mind and they don't look right you know they don't look like those characters because it's not meant to be a game of a film or whatever or trying to replicate the film it's trying to take the so they, they look too close to it version of guardians so of instead of going for a kind of realistic -y looking thing you want. should probably push it down a more uh, stylized you know art stuff that's that's licensed sorry anyway uh, we need to see more about the game but it might be it might be interesting Maybe we will get to see some actual gameplay. PlayStation prompts used for demonstration purposes. Okay. God, 
for God's sake, sorry, I keep just dropping licensed music again. Obviously a big thing at the Guardian's film was licensed music. We're not sure if that was a big deal in the comics, because I don't know the comic that well. So I don't know how close the film stuff is to it. I'm surprised they didn't have subtitles for this. Um, like, they didn't provide captions for this video. So, like, it's kind of a funny back and forth between them but that I can't put on the fucking audio for you, sorry. Because they're playing um, Everyone Likes a Winner in the background. I bet this will be, this game will probably be a pain in the ass to stream what with all of the music that it appears that they'll be using. There's some like branching potentially storyline stuff here. Um, I don't know how much that, that narrative branching will like, you know, I mean, you've played, I'm sure you have played a bunch of narrative games that don't, uh, that don't really change that much. We might be okay now. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. I mean... These walkie chat... Walkie talkie parts could do with some... Walkie gameplay parts. <laughs> like I'm, like I'm sure this part is gameplay or whatever. But some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. Stormlord. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen you. Where's Groot? Is Groot left behind? There's no way he's keeping up with them. Whoops. <laughs> that was a short fall? Is everyone okay? No. We've lost Groot. He's turned into firewood when he landed. Oh god, it's a gelatinous cube. Uh, I've played enough D&D to, <laughs> to walk away from that thing. Don't punch the goo. Never punch the goo. They are amorphous vermin. Shoot first, precious later. Drop them to more. So a five man team. Uh kind of shooty arena type thing. This is the local fauna. I don't know, the combo system looks like like it's I'm not gonna say Devil May Cry, but it clearly has a kind of combat system thing going on on the left there. So I guess you combo between the different characters that that ups that meter a little bit. Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady 
<laughs> Can Star Lord not climb wa uh, waist high walls? Does he have to jet boot himself across? It's a good thing I have jet boots. <laughs> Chuck him. He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No. Very well. Peter. It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. <laughs> you sons of dogs! Scut busting act! I am not familiar yeah. with these words. What are the beasts to do its job? You have uh, you have split the party, guys. This was a mistake. Okay, deal. Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, scud again. Hear that? Uh, guys. Rocket will remember that. The cubes are back. I got it. Mmm, delicious jelly. And now we have um, origami cat thing. Oh, that frame rate! That frame rate! Holy shit! That was bad. Seems it seems every game has a stagger bar thing going for it. <laughs> you walked right into that dumbass. Oh, something stuck. Ah, fuck. Sorry. But anyway, he's got like a, a super powered mode when he puts on his puts on his licensed music. I think it's bad. I think this is bad reputation. The music. And then there's a quick time event to maybe kill it, or there's a prompt or something. Team up kill. And he drops fucking loot and shit. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the flark and was looking like we mean business. All right, Rocket. Time to put on your monster face. I only got one face, Quill. Are you sure about this, Peter? Not really, no. <laughs> Look at him. You better have one hell of a sales pitch. Maybe Gamora's right. Ah, boo. We should try selling Groot instead. Oh, what? Really? This is an affront to democracy. <laughs> I just think that we might need Rocket on the outside for this one. I am Groot. <sighs> yeah. We noticed. You want to make that call, then you better not mess this up. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, what was the I'll point? Get you, you can just undo your decisions. Rocket style, if I got it. It's all right. Draft. Here, music's coming back in. I am Groot. So they're playing uh, I Need a Hero again. So that's that's why we can't have that audio on. But it has wheels. Why don't... Why isn't it a hover cart thing? Who knows. I can't, again, I can't tell if this is licensed music or not, so on the off chance that it is, uh, I'm going to leave it on. But yeah, a bit of a sizzle reel on how the game plays. Looks... It looks good, honestly. Um, that frame rate drop, though, wasn't great, so I didn't like that. But And it's coming out fairly soon, so that's probably not been fixed. 
it's a bit worrying. But like, uh, I'm I'm sure there's a lot of shit going on in the uh, in the game combat. The audacity that you thought you could rob me, dweller, feast upon them. Maybe move? <laughs> Might be a good idea. Like, it's out reasonably soon, so it's a bit worrying that it's having those um, issues. And they gotta get in all the extra shit for your Super Ultra Mega Deluxe Edition. Now we're going to revisit two iconic brands that are being remastered for modern platforms. First up, relive the classic games in the Final Fantasy series. And then get one more peek at Legend of Mana ahead of its June 24th launch. So there's been some news that they might be doing remasters for the earlier Final Fantasies. The, um, the problem that some people have pointed out is that it might just be the mobile ports. So it's one to six, is it? And six as well, okay, good stuff. Yeah, see, it might just be the mobile ports. That's why it's a little worrying. The mobile ports are not, are not good. Okay, some Legend of Mana stuff. I always get confused between Legend of Mana and Star Ocean, even though they're not even remotely close to the same type of game, but it always, they always confuse me. Uh, I will probably get that, but just waiting on a Up next, sale, probably. Earth's mightiest heroes continue their fight to defend Wolf. the world in Marvel's Avengers. The team at Crystal Dynamics. Crystal Dynamics. That's who it is. I was trying to think who was doing Avengers. A growing roster of heroes. But we know who's. We know what Edas Montiel has been working on. Anyway, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Avengers, secure that super weapon at all costs. Cosmic energy is building up. Here's uh, the not Avengers. The not Avengers. Beautiful. There's, there's not uh, Chris Evans. There's not Chris Pratt. Not Chris Pratt. Chris Hemsworth. Are they still just fighting robots? You don't understand what that cube is capable of. <laughs> so, if we're in an apocalypse, does that mean they didn't um, successfully defeat the scientist supreme? If this what is this is what comes afterwards? Really? It took this long to get that? <laughs> they still didn't have that? They did show off that they were doing some stuff for Wakanda um, at the last Square Enix thing, whenever that was. So I guess they're, they've uh, progressed a little bit, so they've got a bit more I to show. I your efforts to connect with your roots, but as a man who has seen three Black Panthers fall, I must warn you of a few things. Many eyes follow the path you are about to walk down. I warn you not to play this game. Because it should have been a single player game. That's probably licensed music. Sorry. I guess there's not, not Chadwick Boseman. See, the, like, 
the art direction is too close to the film. And because of that, the differences are very obvious. Not just the likenesses, but there's like small design things that aren't the same as the film. And if they had just moved further away from the film, like closer to the comics, like an animated feel instead of a realistic look, they wouldn't have that kind of issue. Anyway, I don't know if that was licensed music, but it sounded like it was, so. I mean, if you're if you're into a, a, the Avengers game, it's free, so why not? More content for a game that maybe you enjoy. Good players, a quick look at some of the games that will be available in the coming months. Oh my God. Good evening, 426. Our intelligence reports a new threat to global stability. Their reach is unlike anything we have seen before. Following Agent 47's disappearance, you were selected disappearance. because of your remarkable skills. What happened at the end of Hitman 3? Execution must be perfect. Splat. We will strike from the shadows. So which and one of these is Agent 426? What hit them? So that's CG. Um, what does the mobile game look like? I actually do want to play this because it's near. I just. The first mobile entry in the near series. I want to know what near device it, it plays on and whatever, like you pre-register. Hmm. Brave Exvius shit. That's their gacha game. This is their record keeper game, I think. Oh no, it's still Brave Exvius. Okay, fine. We're still we're still playing that game. Fine. I wonder if we'll get fucking DMCA stuff for. Um... This is their their Final Fantasy um, Battle Royale game. I'm wondering if we're gonna get DMCA stuff for Final Fantasy music. I didn't know it was a mobile title. I'm still, I'm still not gonna play it. Today, the team at Platinum Games is giving you an exclusive oh, look at the epic world of Babylon. Babylon's Fall, nice. featuring fluid combat, powerful weapons, and a unique art style. Platinum Games. Mo I'm here for most of their titles. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes they don't quite. Um, hit it out of the park, but a lot of the time they do. Built over a thousand years, it was meant to be a tower of dreams. But now it's a tower of memes. But for a thousand more, it was seen as a tower of ruin. Ruined memes. Persevering through fire and ice. And the a song, a song of ends. fire and ice. Eventually, the tower became a symbol of unrelenting ambition. All right, it's a bit of Tower of Babel going on there. That tower's name is Babylon. So the tower, so it's the Tower of Babel. That's what we're doing. Okay. Does the savior of Neo Babylon stand among us? Ah, yes. He-Man! The Hammer Bros. So is it a co-op game? Is it four player? It's got that um, Platinum Combat anyway. If I'm to die, then I'll die for hope. For what little hope there may be. You don't get the, you don't quite get the same out of the the platinum gameplay without the sound effects. It's sort of necessary. 
Ah, he ran. We're all prisoners of our subjective reality. Where? <laughs> I know if he's Skeletor or, or Waluigi. Believe only what you see, and you like to end up seeing only what you believe. So what's the thing on their back supposed to be? Okay, it's a bit of bullet hell I probably got from near. That's not good. You should get that no, checked out, bro. But two paths lie ahead. Ascend to the heaven above the tower or fall. Like this one now before you. Now begins its tale of both hope and despair. Not, uh, not on Xbox. That's good shit. Some good shit. Fucking Nier Automata. So, like, <laughs> Square Enix liked what they did with Nier Automata? And we're like, okay, cool, have your own game, so. Never ending goal. Is there not? The game has no ending? Right, so you're working your way up the top of the tower, collect shit. プレイヤーの背中についている uh, I kind of want them to just go crazy anime stuff. Mm. I wasn't expecting it to be a fucking live service game. That's painful. Not happy about that. Like, it's like it's fine for the live services. It's just. I kind of want them, or oh, kind of hoping most of that now money goes to check platinum. Out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series, True Colors. The team at Deck Nine is ready to give you a deeper look at Alex Chen's psychic power of empathy. But first, here's a look at the Life is Strange remastered collection. Em empathy, a great superpower, it seems. So weird to be back. Just like After common sense, the most up. powerful superpower of all. What do you remember about us as kids? I think about us as little pirates <laughs> running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. We are awesome! If you say so. I don't remember that. We made it darker. Yeah, we fucked up the lighting, sorry. That looks worse. Come on, let's dance! Or take my picture with your new camera. <laughs> we both got scars and it's so hard to That's Rachel Amber. It's a little, it's a little disappointing to see that remasters don't seem to take. They never really seem to take lighting into account when they remaster stuff. There's a lot of games that look worse when they're remastered just because of that. Like they 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 up-res the uh, the models. You know they have higher fidelity models. They do like ray tracing or whatever. They add a bit more ray casting into the scene to kind of improve um, reflections and stuff, but it fucks up the lighting of the game. If you want to see the worst one, it's like the, the Batman Arkham, Arkham Asylum in particular. That game is really messed up. Um, Mass Effect definitely has some of those problems too, the Legendary Edition, because Mass Effect has a lot of harsh shadows. 
Um, and the Legendary Edition just softens them just because of the way they redid the... Um, the way they redid the shaders, and it just doesn't work out that well. Voice of Alex Chen in the upcoming Life is Strange True Colors. I hope you enjoyed that first look at official gameplay from the remastered collection. As a longtime fan, so, I know I, I did. Yeah, I had to cut you out the audio the there because there was a bit of what I assume is, both is licensed Life is Strange music. And before the storm. That looks worse. This collection features that improved character animation, lip sync, like that and definitely visuals, looks worse. Breathing new life into these two beloved games. Back in March, we also revealed the next major game in the series. It's like when a uh, strange true like, colors, you know, a small uh, town supernatural mystery. George Lucas remastered the, the Star Wars behind her brother's death. Films? Using and her psychic power, they of were objectively worse. The shocking secrets of Haven Springs. The psychic power of Today, empathy. Today, we have a first look at Alex's unique power in action. Here's game director Zach Garris for more. My psychic power is that it color codes people's emotions. Alex's psychic power of empathy is integral to the story of Life is Strange True Colors. It impacts every relationship she builds and every decision she makes. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. For years, Alex has been unable to shut out the strong feelings of others. The fear, sadness, and anger of those around her. So go live her to like a hermit. Her power is a curse. In the wake of Gabe's death, Alex realizes the only way she can find the truth is to embrace her power. So I can't believe this is happening. You're snooping on people? And the only way to understand is to feel what he's feeling. From the very start, you can use Alex's power to focus on brightly colored auras to gain an insight into people's emotions. Gabe was too young. Just so these valuable how, uh, Alex's relationships how broad is this kind of Springs, thing? Are they specifically well triggered? Dialogue options and events. Like specific parts here, of the combat. From a scene oh, very early on. Specific parts in the gameplay? You're gonna lose her. You're gonna lose her and it's all your fault. So hang on. She's Alex meant to be covered a secret that Mac wants to keep hidden from She's his meant to be girlfriend. Uh, and now he's em terrified like an empath, Alex right? Which basically, which is can you can feel Riley. other people's emotions, right? That's what she's the power is. She's the best thing that's she, ever happened to me. She's not a mind reader, which appears Please. to be what they are doing here. Help me out. <laughs> Max, telling you a whole lot of bullshit. Listen. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. So are we still together? Are you serious? I need to get back to work. Sure, Alex. We'll uh. We'll get out of your way. When Alex encounters a particularly strong aura, she can reach out to actively connect with <laughs> that person's doing? emotions. What are you doing? Why are you just pushing your hand at me? A nova, a supernatural flare that transforms the world around Alex into a reflection of that person's psyche. In this altered, emotionally charged state, Alex can experience fragments of thoughts and memories to get to the root of their issue. <laughs> Well, what, what, do, what does everybody else see while she's with. doing this? Some carry a dangerous, even life-threatening amount of power. He's dead! I wish I were too. No decision is easy, and the consequences will be felt across the game. I mean, it's easy enough if you can just kill her. save Skull. What if I could just take it away? Using Alex's powers the only way you can uncover um, the truth behind her brother's death. Not fair to what the person who's grieving. That? You can't just take their emotions away. And even if I can, should I? No. <laughs> do not do Before, this. This is a terrible idea. Truth. The choice is yours. It's a very bad choice. Don't do it. Alex's powers look so awesome. I have no idea how I'll Do make they? some of these choices, but I can't wait to play it with you all when it comes out on September 10th. Don't forget, you can pre-order Life is Strange True Colors now. I will immediately forget this. And if you choose this. the Ultimate Edition, you'll also receive the Life is Strange Remastered <laughs> Derek collection. will not remember that. And that's it for today. Make sure to follow the Life is Strange social channels Never. for more. I refuse. YouTube is not a social channel. What color is horny? Pink? Horny and emotion? I guess so. Or not. I don't know.
And now, we are excited to unveil a brand new title from Square Enix Japan. Sounds good. Final Fantasy 16. Well, that's not brand new. We kind of know about it already. Oh, this is the Team Ninja one. I'm here to kill chaos. Good that's move. My mission. Yeah, cool. So this this was rumored that it would be a Neo style Final Fantasy ish game. You gonna make us go in there and find you? Guess we'll just show ourselves in. I only know one thing. I want to kill chaos. I need to. It's not a hope or a dream. I must kill chaos. First. Move aside. Oh, that's a bomb. You sure chaos is here? Yeah, we can only squash monsters for so long. I hate doing pest control. This is the shrine of chaos. He's here. We just have to hunt him down. Feel the pain. He's he's very angry. He's a very angry oh, man. This is so thick I can taste it. You should this maybe see a therapist. No doubt. Die already. There was a knight who left on the same journey as you. I'm curious what returned. part of this makes it Final Fantasy. His name was Garland. Exactly. Well, calling him Garland definitely makes it Final Fantasy. Chaos. No, Garland. And or X-Death, possibly. Crush you. <laughs> Dude. Dude, you gotta work on your anger issues. We're here to kill Chaos. The prophecy's very own Warriors of Light. Really? He always wore such splendid armor, with a helmet that was terrifying to behold. It's Garlic! <laughs> it's only just noticed? I become Chaos. <clears throat> okay. I knew I knew it was Final Fantasy Origin. Didn't know it was called Stranger of Paradise. Demo available. Okay, Clune. Thune. Not sure I like the tone it's going for. titles you can play now, as well as those to come. I really need to play this. Just hit me with it. I'm gonna drop plate number seven. They're gonna do what? Yeah, that doesn't end well. I've been waiting to do an LP of it, basically, is what is, uh, that's why I put it off. Really need to play that too. I have stopped playing Outriders. Uh, world ends with you. Surprised they're not showing more of it. Or any of it, really. Yeah, we have no idea when this game is coming out. Same with the same. Same. Still don't know when this is coming out. It's all or nothing. Sure hope those weren't spoilers. No, no, of course I will. I'll call you, I'll call you. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, okay, it's Keep over. Keep an eye out for news about our next um, Square Enix Presents. Don't know, Matt honestly. For See that, you next time. Um, for that presentation... Guardians of the Galaxy looks kind of interesting, I guess. Um, Final Fantasy Origin. I don't know. Like, I, I don't mind playing another kind of um, Neo-style game. It did look a little. It did look a little friendlier than Neo. I just don't like the guy. I don't like his characterization. He's just. He's very. He's very old Kratos. I know. He's just super angry all the time. Um, Final Fantasy 1 to 6 remasters, it seems like they're just the mobile ports, which isn't great. Um, some stuff there about Babylon's Fall. I don't think there's anything specifically new. I think there's a bit of, like it's a new trailer, but I don't think we've learned anything really new about it. Oh wait, we did. It's fuck, it's a live service. That's what we learned about. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah, I didn't li I didn't like the sound of that. Um, we'll have to see more about how well it presents. You can only play so many live services at once, you know? Um, they take a lot of your time. They do end up feeling like jobs after a while. And, you know, there can't be too many going at once because they eat each other. Um, nothing really about Final Fantasy 16 there or, for or Forspoken. Um, seems like they're really focusing on stuff that's coming out soon-ish. I forget now, did they have a release date there for Babylon's Fall? I don't remember seeing it. Um, like, I want to play any kind of action-y game from Platinum. Like, I'll give all of them a go, depending on how, how well they turn out is debatable, but I'll give any of them a shot. What else was shown? Avengers, whatever. I can't think of anything else. The Hitman mobile game, whatever. It was a CG trailer, no idea how it plays. Plus it's a mobile game, so who cares? Um, it's interesting because Square Enix aren't... Um, I think they sold off uh, IO Interactive, but it seems they still have a partnership maybe for the Hitman stuff. I'm struggling to think of other stuff that was shown there. Like Life is Strange, I've no real interest in it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I was kind of, I was kind of open for more, um, more Japan-focused stuff, honestly. And there just wasn't much that I could think of. It was actually fairly Western-focused. It's disappointing. Obviously, their big thing there was Guardians of the Galaxy. It's they've kept that. I'm not going to say they kept it under wraps because there had been rumors about it for a good while. But it's coming out fairly soon. And its uh, performance there in the gameplay didn't look great. There were a lot of frame drops, a lot of slowdown, so I don't know what to think of that. Plus, it's still it's, it's still treading the line of being way too close to the films. But not acknowledging that, that they're part of the films. Like, they're trying to be their own thing. It's the same thing Avengers did, and it, it didn't work well, I mean, there's a lot of things that didn't work for Avengers, but that in particular was a big issue. Anyway, um, that's the Square Enix Presents um, presentation. Let me know what you thought of that stuff. Maybe you were interested in some of that stuff, whatever. Um, tomorrow, I think, is Capcom's presentation. Let me just check the calendar. I think it's Capcom tomorrow. Yeah, Capcom, pretty late in the day. It's about like half ten my time, so I probably will do it. Yeah, I probably will. It's not like I'll be doing anything else on a Monday evening. Um, and then Nintendo are on Tuesday, but it's during my working hours, so I won't be able to go live for that, so I'll have to watch a lot of it later. Um, and Bandai Namco are also doing one pretty late in the day. Um... It does overlap with something else I'm doing that evening, so again, probably won't be able to go live with that, so I'll do a VOD, um, put that up at some point. Um, do let me know if you like these kind of live streaming presentations or whatever. I have to do better at letting people know I'm actually going live. Um, I'm super bad at self-promotion. Um, I've done some other videos for Microsoft earlier today uh, for the Xbox and Bethesda one, and I did a video for Ubisoft Forward um yesterday which was boring as fuck but anyway it's there if you want to watch it um this is being recorded live on twitch so if you want to you can um subscribe to my twitch channel or whatever um there's also a youtube channel which you may be seeing this there subscribe to that too preferably etc and so on so even even looking at this um Flash screen it seems like they were focused mostly on their western stuff which they did last time and it was something i tweeted about and said like should have just called it square <laughs> square enix west presents because they've done the same thing again anyway um, i suppose specifically we are watching it on the square enix north american youtube channel or whatever anyway thanks for watching guys um i'll see you next time